All right, I think that's everybody. Okay, so today we're gonna reverse the process. Find this paper and you'll need that from your kit and you need a pencil. Now, if you don't have it, the video will show you how to actually draw the things. And on one side, it's got a square, square, triangle, which we're going to change into a cube and a cone. But once we print, you know, so if there are, for some of us, we, if you have them in the paper, you're going to go ahead and start. And we won't have to draw very big, but we're going to jump right into that. And then the rest of the time, we're going to be doing some, we're going to practice drawing different kinds of animals. And Ooh. then we have a special project at the very end, and we're going to be drawing a carousel horse together and going to add some of those colored pencil things. Ooh. But I felt like when we are talking about drawing, that I want to make sure that we try to, I like, uh, get our skills, you know, up. And so we've been doing different things. We tried the upside down drawings, we tried the base face where you're trying to reverse the process. Uh, today we're going to take shapes, they are flat, and make them into forms, and forms are fat. So mm -hmm. the, the paper's not actually fat, but we're going to go right to sharing the screen, and we're going to try and pull up. Let's see which one? We have to, sh will it do it? Do we have to hit square share screen before yeah. we did it though? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, here we go. So yeah, that one, and we'll share that one. There we go. That sounds good. Okay, we're gonna do shapes and forms and I may end up moving the people down just a little bit for just a minute. So the first part is gonna show you how to draw the triangle and you already have that one. There you go, that's the first part is that right there. And I wanna stop because, so you wanna find the triangle side and you should already have this. And all I'm gonna do is we're gonna try and make this. Now the very first thing, when you think about a cone like this, it has a circular edge and we're going to try and do some shading with our pencils. So that nice graphite pencil. Now, if you don't have it, you can use any pencil that you've got, but we're gonna go ahead and try to uh, do a little bit of shading. I'm gonna kind of show you how it works. Again, I'm gonna draw kind of a line behind to make it look like it's sitting on a flat surface. So I am slowly gonna add a light line there in the middle. And then I'm gonna start shading. Notice I'm shading as if I'm getting, I don't wanna do it with all of my pencil. I'm just moving it up and down. So I'm starting from the middle and I kind of just spread it out. So I'm gonna pause right there. So you can see I'm shading and I wanna do it and I, Notice again with my pencil, how I'm holding it. It's, it's not a pencil we're writing with. So if you lay it down and pick it up, like it's a claw and hold it at that angle, then that makes it nice. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take two, three minutes and we'll kind of just shade just a little bit. If you are one of the ones that don't have all the worksheets, you could easily just draw yourself in your sketchbook, a small picture. You can see it looks like an upside down V with a smile connected at the bottom. And that gives that rounded surface look. So we're gonna shade a little bit. Now, notice the farthest way, that's gonna be the darkest. Here, just a minute, there we go. Got a few more people still kicking in here. Uh, the very furthest part is gonna be the darkest. So I'm gonna make sure that I have this the darkest and I slowly, gradually get it to where this is the darkest and I make a slow transition so that I can't tell a big difference between where I start and where I stop. So I want the darkest there. I'll even add just a little bit of a shadow in the back because the light's coming from the other direction. So my light, there's my, I drew a little sun there so you can see if my light's hitting this part, we're not gonna have any shadow. But on the far side, because it's pointy, we're gonna have a shadow in here on the ground. And I can shade it in just a little bit. Notice it's kind of triangular shaped.
And this is kind of something, it's a skill, everything that we make, any of the animals that we're drawing and stuff like that, you can actually break them into basic shapes. And so there is a extra little paper in your packet and it shows like if you were looking at different animals, if you could think about what kind of animal they are, what kind of shape they are, and we'll be looking at different kinds of animals in a little bit. All right, so I'm shading, shading. And I always have the darkest shadow will be where it's resting on the table. So if I looked at something, I would want to make sure that all the way across the bottom, I'm going to draw this line. You can kind of see where I'm drawing with my arrow. That's going to be probably the darkest shadow. And if you ever look around at something where the something's resting like on a flat surface, you're going to see this really dark shadow right there. And that's going to make it feel like it's more sitting down. And then I just slowly do this. Now, the fun stuff is I didn't have it when, when you all were, uh, when I was making the video, but we also have, let me stop sharing for just a minute. I want to show you, see this little thing here? This thing can be used also to do some shading. So like, if you don't want to get your fingers dirty, this is called a stump. I'm going to borrow Miss Sarah. She's sitting here working with me today. And what you can is you can see that this will blend so take a minute and kind of blend that and it smooths out if you've got any imperfections. It is kind of neat and it keeps your fingers from getting so dirty and you can slowly. And then when you get a little bit of this gray on here, let me see if I can get it, see that? Then I can even use that to do just a little bit of shading when I want it just a little bit lighter. So take a minute and do that. That's kind of fun. I'll go back. So the Turners just joined us there at the end. So we're doing this. You still haven't missed much. We're starting on this little handout or you can draw your own, but it was in the book and um, the video itself will probably include the link. So if you can't keep up with this now, you can come back and Sarah's shaking her head that she's gonna include these links tomorrow so that if you want to go back and do that, you can. Let me go back to the video. So that kind of got us, there we are, I think, right? That's it. All right, so we'll see. Oops. Let her do it. She's, I missed a step. There you go. Okay. So that stump kind of, and I didn't have it when I was creating the video, but I had told her, oh, the, the, there's so much fun to practice around with. And it does smooth out. If you'll notice when I look at it, you can see that my color, you know, sometimes I'll miss that stump will actually shade and kind of smooth that all in. And that's much better than I see people try to take their fingers and do it, or sometimes they lick it. You don't ever want to lick it. <laughs> but you know what? If you want to, you can use the side of your hand, and I'll show you that in a minute. If you ever want to use your hand, don't use the tips of your fingers because there's a lot of oil glands in the tip of your fingers. But on the spot, not on your palms, got a lot of uh, oil. So it's going to make your paper shiny. So what you want, if you actually do want to do some mixing and you didn't have a stump and you wanted to smooth out the shading, you're going to use the side of your hand because there's very few um, uh, oil glands there and you won't get that shiny look. Well, we'll take just another minute on this one and then we're going to switch to another one. So even if you're not done, then that kind of shows you how you would show it. And again, if you want to practice this some more, this is something that you can go back and do later. So we want to get to the fun stuff. This is our basics and we want to make sure that we get a testing on it, but it would be fun. And sometimes I add right here, I'm adding just one more sh light shadow because it turns corner. I'll have just a little bit of light shading right there. And that's where you could add that stump just on that edge. So it kind of gradually goes from one to the other. Uh-oh, I don't know why it's all turned green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be uh, uh, on uh, someone drawing on it. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what's going on there. Don't know. Yeah, you're good. Start again. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll get this coming back again. There you go. All right, now we're going to do the next one. I'm trying to remember what the next shape is. Probably the one next to it. It's going to be a square. Now, again, if you didn't finish the other one, to the the just drop it for a minute, and we'll go ahead and go to this other one. And what I want you to do is you're going to draw a square or rectangle. Oops, I got <laughs> 
Um, I think we just have annotation on. So uh, y'all just don't 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 use the annotation feature for now. <laughs> I like that you're drawing on the screen though. <laughs> okay, so I drew. Now mine looks more a little more like a rectangle, but the one I gave you I think is a square. Okay, here's the hard part. Okay, so you're going to draw a diagonal line that tilts up just a little bit from the corner and whatever length and angle this line is you're going to do that on the other two so i'm going to go up a little bit to the right side i'm going to repeat that down below kind of at the same angle you can see i kind of measured just a little bit and then i dropped a line to shade it so i'll give you just a second i may even repeat that because sometimes that's easier to see a second time so i came back here it is Jessica Smith. Mm -hmm. All right. And then <laughs> it's still Here we go. Okay. So here's the repeat performance of that. Okay. So if you were watching, it looked like back here, I, I slant this line. I want this to be slanted at about the same length. And then I'm going to drop a vertical line that drops down. And it should meet down here. Sometimes I have to lengthen one or shorten one because I'm. it'll end up kind of, they should meet back there. There you go. Then I'm going to come up and over. I want this line to kind of slant in the same way. And so we're going to... There you go. All right, we're going to slant this line right here. There you go, keep on. Yep. And then we're going to draw another one. Sorry, y'all, we're having some Zoom issues. You're good. Keep going. Okay. Okay, I think there we go. Can y'all see that? I think we're good to go. Yeah. Are we good? Thumbs up if we are. <laughs> Sorry, check with all the bells. Say yes. The Zoom, okay. the Zoom doesn't you. like us today. <laughs> uh, it's being a little there weird. Go. There you go. Sometimes I've had a lot more problems than this, though. <laughs> okay. So do you see how I kind of finished this? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. So we're going to slant this slant this and then we're going to connect the two so if we have this horizontal and we have that horizontal then now we've got the cube and now and this is a lot easier to shade if the drawing was the hard part but notice if this is horizontal this one should be horizontal this should be slanted about the same now we're going to do a little shading so that's the main thing we want to draw it i'm going to go ahead and continue that line all the way across and the reason we do that is so that we can kind of make sure it looks like it's got something to sit on so it's not floating in space. Again, we have the light. We had that little sun way over here on the left side. So we're going to see how does that affect us? Well, the darkest side is going to be this side furthest from it. So I'm going to shade it. Notice I'm shading back and forth. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I get one side very much so in the shaded and then i'm going to do the bottom just like i said a minute ago i'm going to actually draw this line pretty dark right along in there so this line it's easier than this because we were trying to make sure it went around a corner but this one it's all the flat surface it's going to have the same shadow on it all the way up and down 
So I tend to, if whatever shading technique I use on it, I want to be about the same on over. So I want, if I'm going in one direction or if I start changing and go in opposite direction, that's called one, if you always go in one way, it's called hatching. If you cross over and come at a different angle, you can call that cross hatching. So then we put the shadow behind, just like we had the shadow down on the right side, the light's still coming. Like if my arrow's up here, the sunlight's still coming down on it, which means actually the light is hitting the top and we're not gonna shade it at all. We're gonna get a little bit of a slight shadow back here because it's on the side. Now, let me show you, we don't have to go very dark. The shadow, I'm trying to darken this shadow in. Notice I keep going different directions. So the sun's coming that way. Might put just a little bit and then I'll put more. The front edge would have none. And then coming here, now I'm gonna have even more. And I'll pause it. There you can see kind of what's going on. So we've got a darkest edge. I usually shade this just a little bit. And then the front, notice I'm taking, I want a difference between them. And I still say, well, maybe I'm gonna go I'm lightly. And you could actually use that little drawing stump so you could shade it just a little bit, but you wanna keep it really, really light. And it's all pretty much the same with this being the darkest. And I'm gonna stop about right there. My shadow behind and the shadow underneath will be the darkest one. The lightest part would be actually this one of the surfaces we don't see, which would be the one right behind here. Okay, so that we've done a cone and we've done a cube. We're gonna flip it to the other side. I know I'm going pretty fast. This is something that uh, I just wanted to kind of show the techniques, but I didn't want to spend all evening on it because there's a lot more fun stuff to do here in a minute. But every single thing that we draw in nature, we could kind of break it down into some of these basic shapes. So we're going to turn our paper over and we're going to try a couple more shapes. Let's see. Yep, there we go. All right, we're going to do uh, the circle. So you have a circle, so it's over on the left. And we're gonna make it into a sphere. Again, we're gonna draw that pencil line. And so our pencil is, it's on the right side of my picture, but that's okay. We're going to do the shading. It's already a circle, so, and we kind of talked about how to draw circles the first time. And I'm trying to use, I'm gonna start shading and notice when I shade, I always do these curved motions. I don't want anything straight because it's a, it's a curved surface. So it looks like I'm coloring the moon. It's small. And then I'm gonna start coming out and be darker and darker and darker as I come around. Might come around all the way around, but the darkest ones eventually will be on the bottom. There's a little bit of a shadow. I'm gonna slow it down just a bit. So we're shading. The main thing, watch how my hand is. You don't want to do flat lines. You want these all to be curved. All my shadows should be curved. And then notice it gets, it's, think about a moon. It's thin, thicker, and then thinning. It starts getting thin again. So those curved shapes, it's always coming from the top point down to a bottom point. And over here, you get a little more depth in it. All right. I'll speed her up here again. I'm mostly, this is one of those that'd be fun to come back and practice between now and next week. Yeah, and there we go. So it kind of shows you a little bit. Do you see how we're coloring? Notice my hand's always still going in a circular motion. And eventually it gets lighter and lighter. You could use that stump to kind of shade in. I'd love to see what you all do this week. I'm gonna go back and look. Did anybody add some pictures this last time? Anybody add some? Let me see what we got here. 
Let's get a few more people there. I know that yeah. a few people might have added them on the uh, face group page the last time. Yeah, everybody looks so cool. Some pretty apples. Okay, there we go. So let's finish that again. This video will be on there. You can come back later and actually try to, uh, uh, to add more of your own depth. And then we're gonna do that cylinder and then we're gonna start drawing some animals. All right, let's move the cylinder even though you didn't have much time. If you were drawing it from scratch, two vertical lines and an ellipse on the top, which means it's going to, we, we did this before. Remember it kind of drops down and then there's a smooth slight curve that comes up and back around. On the bottom, because we can't see through, you're still gonna have that curve down. So there's your, and we did spend the first time talk about how to draw the cylinder. So we've got the curve down, similar curve down here, but turn around and go back. So this one's ellipse. All right, so you're probably getting a little bit better. This is a flat surface. This is all curves. So again, my light's coming from the right, left side up here. So my darkest side is on the right. So I'm going to start, first of all, and about the middle is when I'm stopping. So I'm gonna have dark way over in the back and I'm gonna slowly get lighter when I get to the middle. So I'm gonna slowly shade it from the outside. There's my shadow. I think I'm gonna move that over just a bit. There you go. All right, let me pause just a second. All right, so I am slow. I'm getting darker, darker here. This time I'm using a lot of my lines. I can either go up and down, slowly letting them be, or sometimes I actually do shading back and forth this way, but we want to slowly get lighter, slowly to get lighter. It's harder than you think it would be. It is. To and again, gradually. this you'll find that the stump helps if you get some on there and then start using your stump to do the lighter shades, you'll find that it actually does a pretty good job of making those lighter colors. And I'm gonna let it speed up just a little bit and you see how I'm slowly adding those back in, although it doesn't look very slow on my video, does it? Mm -hmm. Now I think I drew it too dark, so I'm lightening this line up. There you go. See how I'm working it back and forth? I'll let, watch just a second. I know you're drawing, but watch how my, I go back and forth and I'm slowly easing up so that I can slowly have less and less, and I do it on both sides. And then on the top, I'll just shade it all in one direction. I don't have to have any circle. I'm just gonna make it a flat surface. Okay, give it a second. And where's the darkest part? Right there, right underneath it. So the darkest part's gonna be right here. You'll have a shadow again. All of these had the sun, sun or your light source on the left side and the shadow is going off to the right. Mm -hmm. And we've got different kinds of solids sitting on a flat surface. That's why we always put this line behind here to kind of give a, a ground line. And I think I'm gonna stop to this. It is time to get into the, to the fun stuff today. We're gonna take about 15 minutes to draw a variety of animals. Ooh. And I also am gonna ask before the end in the chat, what I want you to do is we want to, yeah, we want the very first one. We're gonna ask you about next week. I have not exactly made my mind up for the main part. I'm gonna say that we can either continue drawing animals and I have a fox in mind, drawing a face or doing a, um, a barn during the springtime. So you'll get to choose, she's gonna write it in there, face, barn, or more, yeah, fox. So she's got it in there and you get to respond and we're just gonna kind of try to find out and I'll take a consensus. So you type in your answer between now and the end so that we can kind of see what's going on, what people want to do. 
And we're going to go ahead and then get into the animal drawing. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, we are pulling up our first video, and I think that's probably the only one we're going to get to. Not this one. This one not the carousel horse. It should this be. Yeah, hang on. Let me see. Let me look back here to my choices. Where did it's I all up here? All up here. Oh, okay. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Ryan Animals one. Awesome. It was that one. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to look at if I'm going too fast. There you go. So you just get your uh, sketchbook out. Pick any page you want to. We're going to look at some drawing some animals. I'm going to get this smaller because we're going to be over here a little bit. And we're going to look at a variety of things that are made about the same. We're not going to even draw the whole animal. So we're going to start. And yeah, I got to mute it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to draw things like horses, camels, donkeys, whatever. We're going to kind of see how they look. And this will seg us right into the main one that we want to do. So notice I'm drawing a circle. And then it's going to look a little like an ice cream cone. Okay. So this is what you want. And these are all sketching and, and you'll see I arrange them on the page. You could separate them out a little bit because later you might come back and actually take this and uh, make it into something. But we're mostly just sketching to see how can we just change things a little bit and make it into a new animal. So we're gonna start out with, I think a regular horse. So we've got our circle. We've drawn this part. It looks a little bit like a rectangle on the end. It's a little bit smaller here than it is the other places. So, and then I'm going to show you how, if we're gonna draw a horse, we're gonna draw a line here and one that flows right off the back of the circle. So notice what I did is I let this line go right up around and come down and there. And now that's kind of the basic horse's head. Then we're gonna show some ears. Now, depending on how big you make the ears is where you're going to decide. I'm gonna back it up just a bit. Where, how big the ears are would may also change what kind of a horse and animal it would be. Here we go. So, so we're gonna put some small ones here. The eye would be more closely aligned to the, in the circle part, because that's gonna be the eye. We're only gonna see one eye. The horse is facing this direction, so it's a side view. Don't try and draw two. And when you think about this part being the circle, then you want this closer to the middle, but not quite. It's a little leaned over toward the nose. And notice what I did for the nose, all I did is a backward C. And we're gonna be drawing that again here in a few minutes when we try to do our carousel horse. We're gonna spend just a few minutes looking at how horses are different than other animals. And then I can differentiate, and there's a mouth, I can color in the eye and give it a mane. And there's a basic horse. So we got a very simple picture of a horse. And then I'm gonna move over a little bit and we're gonna do something different. So all of these are very similar. It's just, we're gonna practice sketching. So I made another circle. This time I'm going to lengthen that rectangle shape. This is gonna turn into a camel or an alpaca. I can't remember. It's been a while since I drew it. Because depending on what I do, a lot of animals have a head like this. Yeah, this is my llama. All right, I'm gonna back that up because I think it went a little fast. Here we go. So notice this time, longer snout, very long, thin head, but I'm gonna make this a little fluffy to give the texture of his neck long ears. Notice it almost looks like ears that you might see um, stretched out, maybe on a uh, bunny or something. 
And this time I'll move my eye over just a little bit. It won't be right in the center of our circle, but I'll kind of look to see where it makes sense. And they have their noses look a little different than the, the horses. It always has this kind of a circular, looks like a backward six with them. You know, the lip hangs down a little more. Okay, so that's the first two. All of these animals are gonna look very similar. I'm gonna draw another one. Starts out the same, ice cream cone. This is gonna be a camel, I think. Notice, how, how do you know it's a camel? It's because I had his ear flopped down. Doesn't look much different. There's my hump to remind you. Yep, it's a, it's a camel. So we start out the same. You've got your circle. Then you've got these long snout. I'm gonna let his ears flop over. This time I'm gonna have his eyes, instead of so rounded, I actually drew like a side V. So it looks like that, a V on its side. Nose still has that little curve, mouth. That one looks a little more like a camel. Not making big differences between my different kinds of... Um, I don't know how to like what you... Excuse me? Can you hear me? Let me see. We can hear you okay. Oh, okay, all okay. right. I'm making sure, I thought I heard somebody. All right. And this is just for practicing on this one because we're gonna go right into doing a little bit longer with the horse in just a minute. I'm watching my time because I know about when I need to start the last one. I've got about two, three minutes left. Now watch, what else could we do? Similar, but with a longer neck. So, so all of these making small changes but using similar thing. I notice when a lot of people want to draw a horse, but you know what they have trouble with is they forget to give it the long snout. And that that's all of these animals, mm. animals have those long uh, on their faces. They've always got this long. So if you think about the basic shape, it's going to be the circle and this rectangle shape. I always think of it, it looks a little bit like an ice cream cake uh, cone, but then depending on how we treat the neck, how long the ears are, uh, whether or not, you know, we have like, um, what do they call me, antenna on the giraffe? I don't quite remember. <laughs> I don't know what they call those. those, those little fuzzy things. horns. Yeah, the little fuzzy horns. <laughs> but you could practice it around. And I would say, just go ahead. And they have a shorter mane. So you can see I did a shorter mane. And now we've got several different animals that are very similar. They seem to be in the same family. And we can kind of figure out how that works. All right, this will also, okay. I wanna go back and practice some of these. This is gonna be one of the videos that we share the link to, yeah. but I'm gonna switch videos. I think I have to go small, right? Before I go big. And we're gonna to go to share screen again. Yeah, I see it. Okay, let's see what our, what our polling says. So we've got several votes for the face of Fox. One says a barn, fox, barn, now it's almost a uh, fox, <laughs> fox. Okay, so far more on fox, yeah. Okay, and again, what I would do is take this video because I want you, the main drawing is what we're doing right now. So get your clean piece of paper, just turn it off. And we're gonna go to carousel. There it is. This one's gonna be pretty. Do you need the sound for this one? No. Gotcha. 
All right, that's what we're going to try. Did you? Can you see the horse horse's head that we were talking about? We're going to start with this video. It's so pretty. We're going to be doing a little bit of color pencil at the very end. So on a clean piece of paper, and I want to think pretty big, I'm going to draw that circle and then I'm going to pause. So I'm kind of drawing, I'm finding just a really, a circle for the head, circle for the head. And there's our ice cream cone. Now he's a pretty proud horse. So I've got his head <laughs> even more down. A lot of times if they're going forward, I might have the ice cream cone looking this direction, but I'm gonna have him really uh, curving and arching his neck. That's so I've got his head down. That's just what Carol's still horses look like anyway. <laughs> yeah, they should, they are. They're always prancing, aren't they? <laughs> so that's your basic shape. So the ice cream cone look. And that's what the other video, and that means if they're gonna be doing that, mm. their head bends around and see so they've arched that neck. So you can see that curve, he's uh, pushing his head down. So there's that long line. And then we're gonna push his ears so they're facing more mm -hmm. forward. So you got one that's pointing this and you can decide how big yours this may, near, may not look just like mine and it doesn't have to but we're trying to take some of the things that we've learned and we were looking at the weather video. I know we went pretty fast on how to do similarities, but you can have many different things that we draw and you can start figuring out how to do your own. Okay, so, all right, there you go. I added two more lines. So I have the ice cream cone and then off the ice cream cone, I'm gonna curve up and around down and this part is thinner here than down here i'm going to take this line and i want this part to come out a little bit because he's really really like i said he's prancing he's got his uh you know neck curved down so that you really pay attention to him and i'll draw another ear so i've got one ear going this way one ear this way and i'll give you just a second and I'm gonna scroll through and see if everybody's doing okay. Oh, wait a minute, I saw someone showing me theirs. Let me come back. All right, good, good. All right, thank you. Okay, we may be ready because we're drawing lightly and then we're gonna add a lot of color pencil. Okay, I see us sharing, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. So I've, I'm talking about the main lines if I was on here. Now, there's my eye. This time, instead of, it's not quite, if there would be the center of my circle, I'm just going to move it over a little bit. And I'm going to have a place for the eye to be right there. Their eyes are big, you know, when you think about it, bigger than some animals. So there it is. It's going to be a little bit of a circle. Drawing the basic shapes. Then we come back and we're going to, okay, so here's our mouth. Little place right here. All right, and there's our nose. Now, in the last video, I kind of said, sometimes it looks like a six. It's right here on the edge, curves this way, and sometimes it kind of curls around. So if I was doing a simplified version, that's what I'd go. Now, have your colored pencils around. After we do a little bit of sketching, we're gonna come back and start doing color pencil in it. So on a horse. Now notice I'm getting a little darker because I want to make sure you can see it. I drew, back it up just a bit. All right, I drew darker right here, but I'm not going to go all the way. Now that circle doesn't all have to show. Oh, I turned my music on. I don't want to do that. When you watch these at home, you'll see that they have, I always have music in them. I'll pause as soon as my hand gets out of the way. There you go. So I'm adding the bridle. So the bridle went back. I'm going to move it back just a tad so you can see where my 
There's my bridle going right across there and there. And then I'm going to bring the other part of my bridle coming up the, right in here. And maybe a little circle here. As I draw the main, this is where you can get real creative and add some little curved shapes. There you go. You, you can emphasize these because if you, anybody knows if you go to merry-go-round or any of these kind of carousel horses that they really actually embellish them, make them look very decorative. So I'm adding lots of curvy parts for his mane. There you go, I'll pause just a little bit because my hand's out of the way. So again, I'm still drawing kind of lightly because I'm gonna come back in with color pencil and we're gonna do some fun coloring here in a minute. While you're doing that, I think I'll check my chat, see if what everybody said. I'm gonna actually write this down. I'm gonna take my poll here. Zoom will also save chat. Ah, okay, so we can take care of it and then might just have to come later. All right, let me get the chat out of the way. Ah. All right, notice I'm getting a little bit darker on some of my lines because I want to make sure that that's the lines I'm going to keep. The rest of my sketched, notice what I just did on my notice? I actually changed this, I boxed it in. Now I'm going to come back and this is where if you want to pull out a picture or a photo, then you can kind of see we drew the basic shapes. So notice there's my circle and I've got it's kind of like a cone right in here. And this is the cylinder. So all those shapes we're doing, every shape, we could figure out what kind of a combination it is. But then I have to come back and add these details because his mouth really isn't that square, is it? So we, I brought his snout down just a little bit. All right, now let's see. I'm gonna maybe draw his eye in a little more. And I think I'm almost ready to start using the colored pencils. So I've got a simple sketch and we're just gonna start. There's my simple sketch. I'm gonna add a lot of details in a minute, but I've got my basic shape of how I want my um, carousel horse to look. And now I'm gonna go ahead and There we go. Never mind. So I took, you can do whatever colors you want, but I just chose some purples and some other colors. You, you know, it's going to be your horse. I actually used my eraser to take out some of the darkest lines because I'm going to use my color pencils to come back in. So I think I'll take out some of those extra guidelines. You don't have to, but sometimes. And I'm just going to start coloring and doing some shading in. Man, I wish I had hair like that. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that luxurious mane. <laughs> and this is where it's fun. If you just get on and look for images of carousel horses, and again, you can color any way you want. Oh, you man. know, you pick your favorite colors because you can find them in all colors and they're not even real. And so I'm just going to start using a lot of different colors. And I like to blend the color. So I took the, since I was Ooh. using the blue, uh, the purple, I put the blue right on top and it gives you a shadow. You have some parts oh, are wow. blue, purple and some are blue. They do blend really nice, even without using water. So we, we looked last time and added some water. But I came through and just kind of played around with the color.
All right, I'll pause just a little bit. So you're with, with whatever colors you want to, I'm gonna start emphasizing my little carousel horse. So I like to use a lot of blue right now, and then I'll switch because I'm gonna let him be a white horse. So I need something. There you go, there's a little bit. So I'm just using those colored pencils to try to come back through and see. And everybody's just gonna look different, isn't it? Oh yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, these are the ones that'll be fun for you to share later. And what you notice, what I did down here is I started doing all these flowers and stuff like that. You know, if you look them up, some of them, they make them into uh, like war horses and they might Ooh. do more shades of grays and black on the horse itself, or they might come up with an unusual one, or you could actually change it into a unicorn because they'll do that. You might put your unicorn horn on there. And do something but I do know that they get very decorative in the way they design and when you look at all the different kinds of carousel horses so I'm going to make sure I put some pink in the ears and I might just play around and once I pick one up I like to if I'm going to add it a couple of places so you'll notice I picked up the pink and I didn't just put it one place I went ahead and found a couple places to put it in um, that way I have opportunities to do things with it. Let's see what I'm good. Oh, wait a minute. She was getting ready to show me. Okay. Oh, good. I love it. Very good. Anybody else gonna oh, show me what you got? Oh my god. Let's see what the turners are doing. I've got their screen pulled up. <laughs> Good, oh, I like wow. it. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's see. So uh, at the Julie Lynn Ford house. Oh, they're sh all showing me. Thank you. Mm, and Lori's. Okay, good. All righty. And again, ah. share these in that Facebook group because it's easier to see. Okay, up. Oh, I see they've got some. Oh, pretty. Very nice. How and cool. they're so far away. We're going to make Ooh. sure we have to have some videos later. All right, I'm going to keep on showing you mine so that we don't run out of time. And again, any of this that you want to see later. So here's my one of my tricks to make a horse look horse's eye look like a horse's eye. You always got to leave a little white spot on it mm. because their eyes are very liquidy. So when I'm doing it, so I took some dark colors in there. Um, I actually did pull out the black at this point. I don't really like to use black too much in my pictures, but notice I'm leaving this little white part. If I was painting, I would wait at the very end. I would add a little white dot because one thing that makes a horse's eye look so much like a horse's eyes, there's always a little liquidy light it catches the light and it bounces and that makes that eye really pop out there. So I'm adding a little bit darker color, a couple of places here. I think I've even got the navy or actually picked up the black one and I'm going to come around and pick a couple places to emphasize. So now that I've got that color, when I pick up a color, I'm going to use a little bit in several different places. I might put it down and pick it back up again. A lot of times I like to, for it to have a unified look, I want that color to be used several times. So you notice I'm trying to get that feel of the, the mane turning around. So play around with those colored pencils, whichever colors you're using, making some shadows maybe underneath some of that mane. Their tresses maybe. Okay. And so you can see, uh, this is another line right here to make this horse look like he's got a lot of muscles in his neck. There's one line that would be important that we didn't see before and maybe some curves right in here. There you go. I 
And I think about this time I realized I needed some different colors altogether. So I'm going to start pulling in some. I think I make some flowers in here because uh, I pulled up some pictures of some carousel horses and they had all of these uh, like floral things going around. So I got all crazy with them and started adding those. I'm going to even jump up here just a little bit and let you see. I colored them in green, had some flowers coming in. I guess it's a little too girly for some of us. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Darkening them in, darkening some places in. And notice build, I build colors. I, I use different amounts of values at different times. And even on my green, I'm taking some blue and adding some of this blue in different places on top of my green to make it look like it's got a shadow. So that's again, how you can make colored pencils look, um, you know, be able to almost give the same thing you would do as a painting. You can add all kinds of variety of colors and you don't, you can just like by mixing them. I'm going through while they're doing it. Where's my pencil? There it is. Barn Fox Fox. There's another fox in the face. Is the fox the one you did at Emelina? Mm -hmm. Fox, I love foxes. So there's two votes for foxes. One, two. <laughs> and another fox, <laughs> fox. Oh, it sounds like foxes. They may like it because we could actually do the painting at the end with that too. Oh, I okay. see that unicorn. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's see. Uh, Beth, yes, says the unicorn. It looks like foxes win. But I tell you what, the good news is for the few, the, the ones that said uh, face, I had quite a few votes that right up again, the, the, the picture you would be doing that will be our uh, challenge picture is a face. So, oh, nice. so that it'll have a little bit of a face there too, but the Fox picture, yeah, it was, we did it in Melina. I don't think any of these people are from Emelina, so I don't think they've had me. I don't think so, there might be. Anybody here from Emelina? Put it in the chat if you are. Because I did a program with Emelina with which grade did we work with? Ooh, through third, fourth, and fifth grade. Third, fourth, and fifth. Some, some so do I have anybody from Emelina? My oh. son is. Oh, okay. If, Are you in fourth, fifth, or sixth? Oh. Third, fourth, fifth? If you were in Miss uh, Jasmine uh, Cowan's class, then Miss, they've done the third grade. Oh, oh nice. and then we missed, right? <laughs> No, no, thir the, the third, third grade, grade is who we add. Oh, well, then third. he already knows how to do this picture. So I don't know. We'll have to think about it. <laughs> I have to make it a few different. Yeah, thank you. So do you notice how I'm actually coming through here? It is about time to quit, but I'm showing you, I just keep building my colors. I'm adding shadow. I'm just going to play around with the colors. And you can do so much more to make your horse look different. And I know that's kind of what we want. And again, I'm still going to leave that the eye. I make sure and leave this little white spot makes all the difference. And that's kind of like that sphere we were practicing, mm -hmm. right? It is. This is, reminds me of a Lisa Frank horse. <laughs> yeah. The, the little ones might be too young to remember Lisa Frank, but I know the the moms and dads might. <laughs> <laughs> moms and dads that are my age. <laughs> There you That's go. Beautiful. That's pretty much it right there. So 
I might not do exactly the same fox since he's already done. <laughs> I'll do a fox. I just won't do the exact same fox. We'll work on it. And now and then and it should be a spring picture anyway. I'll oh, make yeah. sure it's spring. Yeah. So. I don't know. And there was a lot of, you know, I had uh, three videos of uh, animals and I only showed you one. So that'll be part of what I use for the one for next time. So I'll make sure it has use some of the videos that I've got that show how to draw a variety of animals and then we'll zone in on that folks, Fox. Yeah. All right, guess what? It's about that time. All right, let's see. We did a group picture before. Yeah, if, if we could get up. everybody. Oh, look at that, look at oh, that. Wow. Then we're gonna, like, oh my get gosh. it on the video that we okay. got a bunch of it. She's gonna do a screenshot, I think, when everybody mm -hmm. gets theirs up. Whenever y'all So keep it up. I know, we gotta be patient. Let's see, <laughs> get lots of them back there. Oh, Joe, I, I like it. Hold up yours, Joe, if you got it. <laughs> Joe, I'm going to see you tomorrow. We got to finish our meal. Okay, there we go. <gasps> Very nice. All, All right, right. In there we go. Let's three. see. Um, one, two, three. That one's getting pulled up yet. Yes, there you <laughs> three, go. Two, two one. one. Thank you. Three, yeah. two, one. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Then we'll have something we can share. But again, if you want to take a picture and share it to the Facebook yes, group. Yes, I will. Yeah, I will. so we can see if you work yeah. on it a little more. And then if you want to go back and practice a little bit with that, those, uh, I didn't look at them at all. Some of the uh, shading that you did with those big the mm -hmm. spheres and the cones and all that. Make sure we see how you worked on that. We'll, we'll there was three videos tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three videos. Yeah. So I'll include them all. I, I did get a few, I did see your chat in there. A few of you thought, yes, I was a little fast, but I knew we wanted to spend lots of time with the unicorn. I wanted mostly for you to see that you can look and we can just do small changes and make a totally different animal. You all can keep all adding right. to it. Yeah. Yep. All right. We'll see you next week. It'll be our last week. Make sure that you show up. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.